Hello and welcome to SLU in 6. I'm your host, Maeve Donahue, and today I'll be introducing you to one of the most famous faces around St. Louis University. They regularly appear on national television, are featured on dozens of SLU advertisements, and are often one of the most sought after individuals to have your photograph taken with. This individual doesn't just have a famous face, but they also provide good luck to those who come into contact with them. <laughs> Let us get to the interview and hear more about what makes the Billiken so special. So people often refer to the Billiken as being a funny looking mascot. How do you respond to this? Oh, that's so interesting. I wish we could understand you. Hi, I'm Bradley. I'm Maeve. Thanks for joining us today. Not a problem. Glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about how you became the Billiken. Well, there are actually two stellar young men, one being Tyler Sondag, who's an alumni of SLU, and then Dustin Pollock, who actually worked in athletics. And I actually met Dustin through another organization, and he saw my crazy dance moves, wanted to bring me into athletics, kind of nurtured me into athletics, um, wanted me to try out for the Billiken because I had the right height requirements. I'm a little short, but that's okay. Uh, met the height requirements and put me in the suit, sent me to a game, and here I am. Perfect. What's it like being the face of SLU? It's incredible. The experiences you have are like nothing else you'll ever experience. Um, you're behind a mask and no one knows who you are, um, but you have to represent the university such as the president would um, or any student on campus should. So um, it's absolutely wonderful. You get to live out the mission on how you act and how you present yourself, um, which is what I love to do. Nice. Is it weird if you like run into one of your friends and they don't know it's you and they... It's really funny, actually. I've had some circumstances where uh, people are a lot different if they don't know it's me. And so that can be a good thing and that can be a really bad thing. Uh, oh, most yeah. of the time it's good, but most of the time they're energetic. And uh, I try to give them, give them some fun, especially the people in the pet band. I know a couple people in there, so I'll try and steal their instrument from them, play it for <laughs> a little bit, and uh, they get pretty irritated, but they know it's me. So it's all in good funny. fun. Nice. Um, what's it like to communicate without using words? Like, do you have specific things that you do to communicate with the fans, or how do you do that? It's pretty difficult, actually, when, especially when I started. Now it's gotten a lot easier, because I actually feed off what people present to me. So a lot of people will be like, what's up, man? And, you know, I'll do the same thing. I'll repeat what they're doing. Okay. For kids, it's a little different. Uh, I like to pick my boogers and do all that fun stuff that kids do. Hide in the corner, play rock, paper, scissors. That's Anything funny. to make a kid smile. Nice. Um, what is one of your favorite memories as a Billiken? I'd say there's a lot off the top of my head, but the one that sticks out to me the most was in, in the last home game, I actually got to crowd surf, which was incredible. Oh my gosh. It was un unlike anything I've ever done before. I felt like I was falling half the time, but uh, luckily the SLU students are pretty strong and go to the gym often, so Perfect. they held me up. But the most awkward part was I got my butt touched way too many times <laughs> by way too many people. Nice. How did they like lift you up into the fan session? Uh, I had three of my closest buds help me up into the, into the stands. They're pretty, uh, you know, they got pretty good guns. So <laughs> they lifted me up. Dustin was there too to make sure I didn't fall down. Perfect. Nice. Well, it must get pretty hot in there. Like, do you guys have fans or what do you do in the summer with the heat? Unfortunately, there's no fans. Athletics hasn't thought about that one yet. So <laughs> we do have an ice vest, which was a great investment from nice. a huge slew budget. So anyway, that's been a great investment. I stayed cool. I can enjoy myself now. Nice. Not that I didn't before, but it was a little hotter than, than it is now. Yeah. How long are you usually like outside when you're in the costume? It depends. On so For soccer games, you're out there for the full game, and Gosh. most of the time it's 95 degrees because it's in the fall. Yeah. So it can range anywhere from 10 minutes to three or four hours. It's a long time. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, so after SLU, after you graduate, any plans of being a future mascot? <laughs> You know, my ultimate dream is to be a doctor someday, <laughs> um, but in case that doesn't work out and the loans start building up, uh, I might go be Louie for the Blues if that job's open. Fine. They make a lot of bank. I also thought about being KC Wolf for the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. He's, uh, he's a boss, so thought about Perfect. going to try for that too. I feel like this would be like a good essay for a uh, med school application. Actually, it was it was perfect. Was uh, it? I got to I got to use this for my application, uh, exp explaining how it's different from a perspective where no one knows who it's that it's you, and so that was probably the the coolest experience. And it was actually different than crowd surfing, but. It's about me interacting with a, a girl who had Down syndrome. Oh, wow. Um, and how the Billiken can bring joy to her, but also reciprocate that joy to me as the Billiken. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's nice. Um, do you have any little advice for anyone who wants to be a future mascot? 
I would say if you're introverted or extroverted, it doesn't matter. Go get okay. connections with athletics. Find people who know the Billiken, because there's only a select few that know the, the true identity of the Billiken. Mm -hmm. Find them. Make sure uh, they have good connections to get you in those positions. Uh, practice your dance moves. Keep up to date with uh, the wobble, the duggy, Perfect. the nay nay. That's a new <laughs> one I heard. So <laughs> keep up to date with those and um, go to athletics. Go to admissions, alumni. Um, any connections you do have or your friends have, and they can get you in those positions. Perfect. Okay, well, I think we're out of time, but thank you so much for joining us today. It's not a problem. Go Bills. We'd like to thank Bradley for taking the time to talk with us today about his dedication to being the Billiken. You can see him in action next fall in the SLU men's soccer season opener. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on SLU in 6.